Plowing is a catastrophe for the soil biodiversity. Plowing has been an old-fashioned strategy to kill the weeds. And now we have better ways and means to kill the weeds. Transgenic varieties are beneficial for the environment because herbicide-tolerant plants made it much easier to use minimal tilling, where we don't move the soil that much and don't use any practices to prepare the soil. And this is very beneficial for the environment. Minimal tilling avoids erosion, which with conventional planting causes huge soil losses. Our problem with erosion was very serious, and it was very damaging to the environment. To the extent that in these crops, to produce one ton of grain in Brazil, we lost 10 tons of soil per hectare per year. We solved this problem by eliminating tillage. With no till, leaving the crop residue on the surface, the rain doesn't fall directly on the soil. The sunlight does not get directly to the soil. We don't need to burn the crop residue, and we don't plow. When we changed from conventional planting to no-till, it was only possible because of an herbicide product with total action. We could get a soil which was tolerant to this product. We've got some land that if you till it too much, it'll blow. And if you don't till it, you get crackgrass, you get thistles, you get milkweed, you get all kinds of weed pressure that just keep coming on you year after year that reduces yield. Now, with Roundup, we can leave those areas and not till them. We can minimum till or no-till them. No-till and minimum till operations have just uh, overtaken the landscape. Uh, things that we just couldn't do before without these technologies. We lose less soil from erosion in 10 years than we used to lose years ago in one year. The Roundup Ready technology has, uh, has benefited our management to the term that we've We've uh, minimized um, the number of cultivations that are required to, to um, control the weeds. We no longer have to till the fields to control weeds, where we used to have to till two, three times and use more diesel and, and, and jeopardize the soil to more erosion. With no tillage and biotechnology, we have been able to decrease fossil fuel consumption on average by more than 50%. Looking at the impacts on greenhouse gas emissions, the technology has helped deliver important savings. In 2004, 10 billion kilograms less carbon dioxide have been released into the atmosphere, and that's equivalent to taking 20% of the cars in the United Kingdom off the road for a year. We do not have to burn the residue in our harvest anymore. We just allow the residue to decompose in the field to become fertilizers. As a result of us keeping crop residue on the ground, we have a new foraging opportunity for wildlife using a lot of biotechnical materials that allow us to uh, not um, cultivate the land as hard, so we're seeing a, uh, a new happening on the landscape in terms of wildlife emergence, not only on top of it, but underneath. It's just a real treat to see that. And, and then to say that agriculture is helping is, is a real success story that needs to be told. When we look at this crop residue, we see a lot of things. A change of behavior, a change in society, a guarantee that we are preserving this soil for life, for future generations with a better quality. It is a guarantee that it is immortal.